Okay, so during this tutorial, we're going to use this image, this image, to hopefully come up with something that looks like this image. All right. So let's get started. We'll start off with the hand image. So open that now if you haven't already, and open the face image as well. We're going to select this. Go Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Come back across here to the hand image and press Control V. The next thing we're going to do is press Control T or Edit Transform. Sorry, Edit Free Transform. I prefer Control T. It's pretty quick. All right, we're going to sort of resize the layer so it's sort of covering a lot of the face. You can actually reduce the opacity while you're doing this. All right, so that way you can see how big it's going to fit onto the face. I reckon that there is going to fit pretty good. Hit Enter once you're done and pull the opacity all the way up. Now we're going to add a layer mask. Remember adding a layer mask doesn't actually erase anything but just hides things. Okay. Come across here to the brush tool. All right. At the moment it's quite big so I'm going to make it a lot smaller. Right. Make it about 100 and make sure the hardness is set at 0. I'm going to start painting it here. It's probably still a little bit small. All right, so we start painting the outside. Notice that this is black. All right. If I change it to white and start painting the layer mask, it will start revealing it again. All right. Which is the advantage of a layer mask. Also going to zoom in so I can actually see a little bit better. If I hold the space bar, it will change to a hand. I can move it around. So we'll go back to the brush tool. All right, it's still a bit big. About 175 looks good. Oops, and I'm just painting stuff back in. So let's paint it out again. So I get rid of the ears there, so we can see that. Get rid of the forehead. It's contrasting the space bar. I'll get rid of this bit in here. I might reduce the size of this by pressing the square bracket key, so I can get a bit more detail in here. Good. So it's just a taste. Control minus to zoom out. Half the battle in these is just knowing how to quickly move around Photoshop so you can do it fluidly and not awkwardly. Square bracket key to make the brush size a bit bigger. Alright, so that's starting to look okay. I'm a bit concerned about a couple of things. This is a bit uh, obvious. Alright, so I might even press Control T and make this just slightly smaller so it fits in a little bit better. Alright, I might move it up just slightly. Go back to the brush. Paint out some of this. Alright, the next thing I can do is I can reduce the opacity. Alright, that's how see through my brush is. So press swap these colors around. So I'm going to bring some of this back. I'll reduce the opacity down, switch the color. All right, it's just a matter of playing. Maybe make the brush size a bit smaller. All right, so the more time you take on this, the better a result you'll get. All right, that's Starting to look pretty good, I reckon. If you can be really tricky and align up the eyes with uh, certain creases and things like that, that's where it'll make it really good. Control zero, we can zoom back out, and that looks pretty good. My hand's starting to pop out of my face. You could even reduce the opacity of the whole image just slightly, just down to about 85%, and that'll even help it blend a little bit as well. All right. So that's uh, that's sort of step one.